Well, welcome back, everyone. I cannot believe it. We finally have news. So, yes, uh, I was completely unaware that Planet Zoo had even tweeted at all today. But it turns out 1.9 is indeed coming on April 12th. Now, this, what we could already infer from this information, is that the DLC will likely drop on the 12th of April, which kind of coincides with that whole Easter theory, you know, Planet Zoo would release DLC somewhat close to Easter, as seen as in Planet Coaster, as well as with the recent Planet Zoo packs that happened within the spring. Now, a lot of people are probably wondering, Leaf, what the hell do you think about 1.9 and all its features? Well, all right, let's just jump right into it. Roaming educators. I really like this idea. It's going to be really awesome just to see educators talking with staff, what not even staff with guests kind of like docents at real zoos and just kind of going through the motions and talking with guests they release this a very adorable video the francesca and all the other planet zoo devs about how the roaming educator would work and testing frontier staff's animal knowledge i have not yet had the chance to actually watch this video yet but it does seem very adorable and it makes me so happy that planet zoo team is starting to do more and more stuff like this it's very adorable and I am so here for it. But moving on through here, Roaming Educators is going to be a wonderful way for you to bump up your education in your zoos and all that kind of stuff when they're not using talking points. Speaking of that, we are also getting a camera mode. This is going to be really awesome. Um, it's going to be really awesome just to get down on guest perspective and be able to really jump right in there and get in the first person. If you guys have the first person mode mod from uh, Kai, this is probably going to be redundant now because it's going to be really awesome just being able to jump right into a new camera mode. I can't wait for that and it's going to help so many of us build our zoos better for a guest perspective. Moving on from there, we also have audio visual management screens and webcams on billboards. Now I know this was an issue a lot of people had before with the billboards not really being able to handle the webcam footage directly from Planet Zoo. Now this will actually be able to work. We were only previously able to do this with the animal burrows, which we'll get into in just a little bit. But this is going to be a really awesome thing to have when it comes to really dedicating, um, you know, a lot more education in your zoos given like guess a perspective to an animal that really isn't on stage say for example you have pangolins which really aren't the most front and stage animal this is going to be really helpful for that as well we also have new water options this is going to be really cool flexi color water in exhibits that's going to be so cool uh, not really sure what this is really going to have, but it's going to be really awesome specifically for mist and bubble effects. I've been starting to use a lot more of those effects recently, so it'll be really awesome to get that. Bathing behaviors. All right, so this one's going to be very interesting. So in the data mine that several other modders leaked, um, we did get insight into the hot water spring or the hot spring rather and it seems like the japanese macaques will be able to use this that's awesome but you know what else is able to use it capybara hot spring okay i said this before you all called me crazy but this is very popular in japan and i could highly see this happening with capybaras if they are in the dlc it's going to be very much in the air but i'm very excited to see that uh, what we also have is flattened to terrace brush to help create a shallow pool you'll need for your new hot springs you'll be able to use flattened to terrace this is new with 1.9 and allows a shallow pool offset button which essentially is helpful when you want to create rice terrace structures within your zoo this is very interesting okay hear me out i feel like we're getting an asian dlc I don't know why. Maybe we're getting a Rainforest DLC. I don't know why. This is all very much in the air, and I can't wait to see what Planet Zoo actually reveals with all this. But we also have small burrows. Now, of course, everyone wanted the meerkats and the prairie dogs to actually use those animal burrows from before. Well, guess what? We get new items for that. And what comes with new items, it's going to be very, very interesting to see what animal they actually include along with that. Hopefully, 
it's a capybara that's able to use a small burrow. I'm not really sure. Uh, capybaras don't really burrow, but I think they can include that. Or maybe some other animal. Definitely let me know. But listen, guys, we finally have news. We're finally in the 1.9 era. Be sure to let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Always do love hearing from you guys. And this is so freaking exciting. I cannot wait. By far, probably one of my favorite new things is going to be the shallow pool for the hot springs. But, of course, you guys have your own favorites. Let me know what you guys have to say going forward, and I can't wait to see you guys all then. All that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video, I guess. Take care, and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Bye-bye now.